Install a lock washer on a 5 16 inch bolt. Screw the bolt into the inside brake bracket from the bottom. Insert the bolt through the brake arm. Note the position of the spring hole in the bracket. Make sure the brake arm spring is in this hole as you tighten the bolt. Install a nylon nut on the bolt and tighten. Do not over tighten the nylon nut. Make sure the brake arm has free movement. Pull the arm in and adjust the brake pad. Install the outside brake arm in the same way. Install a nylon nut on the bolt and tighten. Do not over tighten the nylon nut. Make sure the brake arm has free movement. Install a lock washer on a 5 16 inch bolt. Insert the bolt through the brake arm. Screw the bolt into the outside brake bracket from the bottom. Make sure the brake arm spring is in the hole as you tighten the bolt. Push the brake arm to the rim and adjust the brake pad. Make sure the brake pad aligns level and even with the rim. Insert the brake cable through the noodle. Insert the cable through the rubber boot. Attach the brake cable to the brake arm. Attach the brake cable to the outside arm. Pull the brake cable until the brake arms are in proper distance from the rim. Tighten the pinch bolt. Tie the brake cable to the frame. Adjust the proper tension of the brake cable on each arm. Make any final brake pad and cable tension adjustments for proper working brakes.
Solder the end of the cable so it will not fray. Install the left brake cable following the same procedures. Be sure to watch part 17. I will install the seat frame, seats, and rear storage. Thanks for watching.